What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol, back with another video today. We have something super, you know, let me put this camera down. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. Let me, let me put you guys right here for a second. We've got something awesome from Pop Collectibles and I'm super stoked for this. We have the Armorer is in the house. This is awesome. This was Toy Fair exclusive. I just got this from Pop Collectibles. They delivered it super fast. You can uh, check out the link for them down in the comment section down below. They still have these in stock while some of you other people might be waiting a minute. For them to arrive, Pop Collectibles got them in stock, discount code patrol. And uh, so check them out for day one orders or wherever you want to get stuff. I am quite excited for this. Guys, Mandalorian is amazing. The other Mandos are amazing. The, De the Durastil, the, the Beskar, the new Chrome Mando is going to be amazing. Can't wait for that. Heavy Mando, like all the Mandos. Freaking hype for these things. I, I, I really am. And uh, I can't wait to get this thing unboxed, share with you guys, and let you know my thoughts. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't even know. I'm, I'm super hyped, so uh, let's roll. So here we go, guys. We got the box right here. This is actually pretty, it's a pretty good, it's your normal Star Wars box. There's really nothing to write home about this. It's your normal black with the gray sides. You get a nice little band. Got a little exclusive sticker right there for Toy Fair. Pretty good looking. The armor looks fantastic there. And then we've got TMS044, the armorer. Say that four times fast, the armorer. Uh, one six scale collectible figure. We've got the armor right there. We've got the armor on the side. And uh, just says that there. And then on the back, uh, that's pretty much all it says. It does come with this nice little insert. That's the insert art. If you would like to display yours like this, you could certainly do that. All you got to do is, you know, you know, put it like that. And you can display it just like this. It's actually a great photo. Whoever did the photo did a really good job. So, uh, yeah, a little smelting, forging action going on there. But we're not here to look at boxes. We're here to look at figures. So let's go ahead. You know what? Before we get to the figure thing, this other thing's in the box. This, this, this thing right here is in the box. This is like a, 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 I'm not sure about this. All right, let me throw this out there. This is a cardboard piece. It's fairly thick, so that's nice. It's definitely thicker than like we saw with the Spider-Man or even Thanos uh, from the other um, movies. Um, but we do have this nice little mythosaur, you know, emblem right there. Nice little keypad going right here, and it opens up. For a display piece. So there we got a little armory. So you can have a little depth of field if you're doing some photography or whatever. Uh, and it goes, uh, it will fit. For those who will ask, it will fit in a detolf. I did go ahead and uh, and check that because I knew as soon as I, I, I wasn't even going to take it out of the box. Stuff like this doesn't really interest me. But, uh, you know, I'll make these videos for you guys. So I did figure out if it fits in a detolf and it will. It's, it's the normal whatever. Uh, it's nicely done. It's a nice little photography action. So, or it's probably digital, I doubt it's actually photography, digital art. Um, but they did a good job with it. It's not something I would use in my display, but that's me. I just don't like things like this in my display, but you might. So uh, it does come with the figure. So there you go. We do have, we have an armor. We have a Mando, another Mando. This is the way. So we've got a, uh, we've got a Mando figure. I've taken all the plastic bits off. Uh, but that's about as far as I've gotten with this thing. Uh, and uh, I haven't even taken out the stand yet. So this is a pretty fresh uh, review for me. We've got some chrome. Let's just, let's just look here. I'll tell you what, watch this. Hold on. Look at this. What do you guys think of the actual presentation of the packaging? We looked at Mysterio the other day and that presentation was unbelievable. This is less fantastic. And it has to do with the colors. Like Mysterio was at magenta and green. It just looked awesome. The gold, this is a little boring. I would love, this is a side rant for me. I would love for Hot Toys to give us the DX style packaging on every figure, every figure. That styrofoam with the nice box and everything. Like for $300 or so, we should not be dealing with this garbage. Like, cause that's just, anyways, that's just, Whatever. First up, let's take a look at this armor plate here. This little piece that she was working on in the forge. So this actually looks quite fantastic. This is most likely going to be the new chrome 
plated action we're going to see with uh, the upcoming Mando Season 2 release that everybody is super hyped for, uh, myself included. But look at the way the light's bouncing off this thing. Nice little pitting going on. There's some damage. So you can see she's been uh, kind of pounding away on it or or fixing. I'm not sure which one she's doing. Um, but there's that. It looks pretty freaking good. So I think she's probably fixing some of that for, for our Mando. Um, but I do have, if anybody might be curious about this, here's our original Beskar Mando here with this. So I can tell you this is a lot more smooth. And I think this is this looks more like they did like a paint application with like a clear coat, uh, smooth finish on there, where this actually looks more metallic. I don't know if that's coming across in the lighting, but this has more uh, realism in it, I guess for lack of a better word. Uh, this is more believable to be a metal, even though it's plastic. So there's that. Uh, we do get a little ingot of uh, Beskar. Nice little deal. We saw this with the other Mandos, so there's nothing really new here. We got the wrong stamp on there, so that's reuse, whatever. Uh, I don't use them in the display anyway, so not a really big deal to me. We also have we got a little cup here with some uh, presumably some, some Beskar material that's melted in there. Uh, she's going to be using this. I guess she could use this in forging and also in like, like bashing somebody's head. If it's a slab of uh, Beskar in there, I imagine that would be somewhat worth hitting some mud over the head with. Um, but again, same application here. This pitting, uh, nice little paint applications going on with this. This piece right here is a little, it looks fine. It's nothing, I mean, this, it's nothing, I don't know. It's, it's nothing fantastic. We've got some tongs right here. These are huge. And as you would want, like you wouldn't want to be really near the heat, but they do work. So that's kind of nice. Uh, these feel fairly, I mean, they're fairly fragile. Uh, I can imagine somebody's probably going to break these and be sad. Please don't do that. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to take them apart. There's a little rivet deal going on there. Um, but they do work and they look fine. I, again, don't know if I'm going to use them. This piece I'm probably going to use just because I think it makes for an awesome weapon. A nice little hammer. It looks great. Same application, the chrome paint going on here, the pitting and everything. They, they really just carry the same applications everywhere. So this is nicely done. And then we get her welding tool right here. Now, I don't know if she's MIG welding, TIG welding. I don't know what kind of welding they do over uh, in the uh, in the Mando cave, but here we go. Somebody out there familiar with that can uh, let me know. This is actually a nice little piece. It's all sculpted and uh, it looks it looks pretty good. So there's that. So we do have a, an, an arraignment of hands but the first thing I'm noticing on the hands is there, there are a lot of them going in the same direction. So that's kind of weird. I obviously got right and left um, relaxed hands there. So, but that's a, yeah, I don't know if I can get the hand out of the freaking package, but it look like they're all going in the same. What the hell? Our armor is left-handed. So we get those two and then we get this, but there's no, and there's no fist. Why do we not have a, when's the last time we got a figure without a fist for fighting or whatever? That's crazy. But anyways, we got a, uh, like a, a hand to hold the ingot of uh, Beskar right here. And the paint applications are fine. I don't know that there's really anything crazy going on with this. You can see some stitching patterns and the, like the leather work has, uh, has been, uh, she's been using this for a while. So that's fine. We have this other hand that's for grabbing and smashing. And then these two hands, I think, are for just holding different tools and weapons and whatever else. So uh, kind of shocked to see not a whole lot of hand action going on there. Let's look at this figure. Everybody's going to say, like, get to the figure. I got a piece of plastic on my figure. Get out of there. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me get you out of here. Let's just get the hands out of here. And uh, I, I think that paint application on the helmet is beautiful. It is fantastic. Look at the design and the the patina that's going on there. That's straight up awesome. I got it. I mean, it just that is straight up beautiful. Now there was no multiverse. There was no question. There was no opportunity or, uh, or possibility that I was not going to get this figure. It just wasn't going to happen. This is our Mando. This is our armorer. This is somebody who bashed in the skulls of a lot of stormtroopers. And um, 
led the uh, the culvert, and this is just nice little Darth Maul style helmet to go action going on there. But look at the color applications here. We got that nice bronze color. We got this like rose gold, copperish, if you will. It's not as saturated a color, but as you can see from uh, the footage here, but it's it's it looks it looks nice. Uh, we got some uh, brass applications and silver applications on the belt. That looks nice. We're gonna have a little. That's a Velcro piece right there. Nice little tailoring and sculpting going on on the shoulder armor. So you hear that Velcro action? Nice coloring. I mean, this is a good looking piece. I like this. This multicolored piece right here on the uh, on the gauntlets. Those look really good. I dig those. This piece back here, I guess, is supposed to be Wookiee hair. That's kind of she's used for fashion. Um, this piece I have concerns about. Let's see if I can flip this over. I'm not sure if I can. All right, so there's the back side. I'm not sure how the light's gonna catch that because it is rather dark. Um, but it is, uh, it's almost like a t-shirt material that they've like attached all this stuff to. And I can already tell you like there's pieces like floating around. It's like having a dog running around, right? So, uh, and it's rather stiff. Like this is not, um, I don't know. It looks it looks fine. Like on the figure, not a problem. Uh, I don't know that you're going to want to like try and sculpt it or anything. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Um, but I think that's all right. The skirt action here, the apron, if you will, it is thick. It is nice. Uh, feels like it's good material. We're going to get any resistance out of the thing. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be okay. Let me flip this up. Here's the back of her armor right there. Velcro action going on there. Just like the other Mandos, a lot of Velcro going on. Mandos like Velcro. Uh, here's some more other accent pieces here on the belt. I think those look fine too. Yeah, this is a nice piece. This is a nice uh, display piece, right? Going down, we've got some nice uh, lining down the pant. We've got this nice uh, spat that goes over the boots. I don't, what the hell is, what in the world? The, did they forget to finish this figure? The hell is that? I don't think I there's screws in the bottom of my Mando foot. I don't think I've I mean I've unboxed hundreds of figures. I don't recall one ever having a screw on the bottom of the foot. That is strange. Maybe they forgot something. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, this is nicely done. They're gonna have a split cut right there, so no issues with that posing wise. That's a nice soft material too. That's that's nice. That's that's strange. I don't know what's up with that. All right, so let's get into articulation. Then we're gonna to want to pose this figure up and have some fun with it. So ball joint on the head, you can do whatever you want there. As far as looking down, is, does the neck move? The neck does move, you get a little movement out of the neck, and she can look up. Uh, it's a it's a mando. Uh shoulder wise, let's see here. Oh, get ratchets on the shoulders. Nice. That's cool. I like that. So I imagine we can pretty much do whatever we want on the shoulder wise. Ooh, it's pretty, that's a pretty tight joint. Like that's a very tight joint. Huh. Interesting. What the? All right. This. That's a single, that is a single joint elbow. What in the? No, come on. Are you going to bend more than that? No. Come on. You got to bend. That is a single joint elbow. What the? Did, did I did I mistakenly buy a sideshow figure? Did sideshow produce this figure and then throw a Hot Toys label on it? What the hell? It's ratcheted. You guys know how much I hate that. Shoulders will go up that far. Armor will go back that far. Not really much uh, uh, inhibiting uh, of the fabric. I don't think that's an issue. Um, can actually split fairly wide. So no issues with that. What in the actual... I, I have a figure in the year 2021 from the world's best six-scale manufacturer. From the number one show on Disney Plus. From arguably the number one show of 2020. 
And they decide to give me, and as a Toy Fair exclusive, this is a limited edition exclusive figure. And they're going to give me this shit? Oh, hell no. I see, uh, I see a body swap coming in my near future. There's, there's no way. That is completely, completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. What the hell is this? This is something you get from Sideshow. Like Sideshow would 100% stick you with some single joint 2012 body garbage. This is bullshit. I'm going to call it like it is. You guys can say what you want in the comment section. That's bullshit. I'm, I'm utterly quite pissed off at this right this second. I'm not even going to lie. It looks fantastic. Like the appearance of it is beautiful. Why did they do that? On what? On what? Like, I don't know. Bullshit. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So let's take a look at this first pose, guys. We've got the armorer. In a basic in a basic pose. Now I I know I was pretty harsh on it on the unboxing, and I know I was really not at all happy. And not at all happy is probably an understatement on the single jointed elbows and the single jointed knees. However, I think it's a pretty easy fix. I'm going to buy another body. I'm going to replace the body, and I'll be able to pose it the way I want. That does not. Let me repeat. That does not mean I'm not happy that I picked this up. I'm just not happy with decisions Hot Toys has made. And uh, this is going to look amazing next to my other uh, Mando figures. But you can see right here, like this armor and the uh, the helmet and the patina and the coloring and everything on here is just quite, it's, it's quite good. I mean, they really did a good job. And regardless of the, or despite the um, single jointed problems, uh, we're going to try our best to get some decent poses out of it. But if you're going to go museum-esque, then I think you've got uh, some possibilities right there. Like, that's not bad. Um, so, I, you know, I don't mind it. I do like the boots. I think they're pretty cool. I don't like that they have a screw on the bottom of them. I think that's kind of lame. Um, but um, but there it goes. I think it's it's pretty good looking. So we're going to... Uh, I just got a simple pose. She's got her little hammer thing going on right there as uh, we kind of zoom this out. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. We're going to try and make it better, and we're going to introduce a couple more figures. So if you want to use impose, that's not a bad one to start with. And now we've got a couple of Mandos and a child lined up on the display. So I wanted to showcase these. I think some people have um, uh, been photographing uh, the armor with the Beskar Mando, which I think makes sense. However, the Durastil Mando is still my favorite, and you can see why right here. So I was actually going to, and I still might. I've got IG-11 here next to me. IG-11 is huge next to the armor. You can see like the size difference. The armor is a good half inch or so shorter than uh, Mando. Maybe an inch, depending on where you position the helmet. And uh, I've got mine kind of tipped down just a little bit. But I think, again, the costume design, the color design from um, Lucasfilm and Disney, they just they nailed it, guys. So, again, single joint elbows kind of sucks. So we got a little, uh, got the hammer right there. And I will break out a remnant trooper. We'll have a little fight scene here in just a second. But I wanted to showcase these two together just like this. And then, of course, we got uh, we got a little Grogu down here at the bottom uh, looking all kinds of cute because that's what he does. But there you go. If you want to have yours displayed, I think this is most likely probably we're going to be where mine ends up uh, displayed kind of with these guys. But I don't really know until I get that new body and replace that body. Um, out of the armor, but uh, yeah, simple, easy. All right, we're gonna try this again with one more pose, and we've got our armorer who has recently defeated a remnant trooper and stuck his helmet on a uh, pyre, and then we've got our best car Mando over here on the side. We've got IG hanging out in the back, and we've got our heavy Mando. So, and oh yes, the child is here. Yes, the child is here. So, a uh, couple things to note about this particular pose. Uh, one, the knees uh, being single jointed, do, that does suck. However, however, let me zoom in here a little bit. The actual ankle has a really good amount of, of articulation, range of motion in the ankle. 
So if you want to have it, you know, lifted up like this, it's not horrible. It would be better if I could get that knee a little bit more bent. It would look a little bit more natural, right? That's the little Captain Morgan pose. Um, and uh, the hands. So sometimes when you get these figures with the gauntlets, the hands tend to pop off. I have not had that problem. So that's been nice. Uh, it's not a hard plastic. It's more of a pleather-like gauntlet. So the hands aren't popping off uh, just randomly. So that's a nice thing. Um, I'm actually quite pleased with that part of it. So uh, the uh, apron, as you can see here, you can get a decent amount of range of motion out of the apron as far as the legs go. It's not crazy and it's to be expected. So I don't really have any faults for that. I think this goes more along towards the aesthetic of the figure. It's more like having the, the essence of the character in the collection more than the badassness of awesome posing. So let's throw that out there. Uh, there was a pose on one of the blogger photos where she is battling uh, one of these guys, uh, but I didn't want to copy that pose. That would be kind of lame to do. So I didn't want to do that. And uh, But that was a pretty good pose. So if you wanted to grab that uh, blogger photo and do that pose, I think it's pretty good. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to uh, use that in this video, but I do think it's a good one. So well, there you go. But we're going to do one more. You guys can let me know what you think about the family portrait. All right, so I guess the final pose we're going to have here is something somewhat dynamic. As you can see, significant ankle bendage going on right there. Even with the single joint knee, that one's fairly straight with that single, uh, with that crazy ankle. And uh, it balances rather well. I don't think there's any issue with that. One thing I, I did find a little interesting is uh, the helmet is so large that it's almost like she has no neck. So there's not a whole lot of movement. Um, tilting wise, like we saw with Mando, you know, Din Djarin, because of the length of the neck, it, like it's so long. And so that's, that makes like getting a head tilt to get some expression out of it a little difficult, which almost limits you to more of a museum-esque pose. But um, I think this one, this works out. I, I don't think that's terrible. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are, but I, I think this pose probably works just fine. And uh, it's something a little bit more you know, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more fight-ish, fight club, uh, if you will. I did have, I played around with the other tools that she had, but they look kind of silly to be using the uh, the tongs as uh, as a weapon because they're just too thin and weird. Uh, and then this the uh, the ladle uh, with the uh, Beskar, you know, smelt in it or whatever. Um, it just looked like she was holding a, a giant soup cup, like a ladle. So just, I don't know. Look weird to me, um, but uh, so let me uh, I like the texturing going on there. Let me let me kind of uh, wrap this video up for you guys a little bit uh, while I, I just kind of you know share the figure. Um, one, I, I really 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 hate the single joint elbows and the single joint uh, knees. I, I, it's a complete fail on Hot Toys part. One hundred percent fail. No excuses. There's no. Um, there's there, I, just just garbage. I mean, just gonna call it like it is. Complete garbage on, on that front. So I will re be replacing the body as soon as I figure out which body to use to replace it. Um, I'll let you guys know. But there's there's no way. It's just completely unacceptable for this. Either they half-assed it uh, or they rushed it to get it out for uh, Toy Fair and, and to get this thing out quickly. And, and I appreciate that. I, I'm glad they got it out quickly. So, you know, on some, some level, I'm, I'm happy with that. On another level, it's just, why are we going back to like 2012? Why are we going backwards in the uh, performance and, and the, the figures they're giving us? Uh, just complete rubbish. If I wanted single joint elbows and single joint knees, I, I, I'd buy a freaking Sideshow figure. And I didn't. I bought a Hot Toy, and I feel like I got a Sideshow figure from Hot Toy. It, it just... You know, it just is what it is. So, you know, there's that. So enough ranting on that. It is beautiful. It is, it is, paint applications are up there with Hot Toys quality. No issues with that. And it's something that absolutely, as you saw in the last uh, pose, it's something that absolutely belongs in the Mando collection. So I'm not sorry that I bought it at all. And I'm happy that I bought it. So if you've got this on pre-order, don't cancel it. It's gorgeous. It's a Toy Fair exclusive. Once it sells out, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get. It's going to be kind of pricey. That being said, I have another one coming and I will 
most likely 99% be changing the body because it's just unacceptable. So that's my thoughts. You guys can uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Am I just complaining to complain? What are you guys' thoughts? Did you order it? Are you happy that you ordered it? Are you not? Um, you know, I just, if you want like flowers and butterflies and everything to be fancy and, and everything's okay, this is not the channel for you. Uh, if you want me to tell you like it is, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, click what you like. We'll see you next time.